Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a deep dive into the ocean's most dangerous inhabitants. The ocean, while beautiful, can also be incredibly unforgiving. From powerful waves to treacherous currents, it demands respect. We're going to explore 15 fish that deserve your attention, not just for their potential to harm, but also for their fascinating adaptations and roles in the marine ecosystem. So if you're ready to learn something new, let's get started. 15. Needlefish First up at number 15, we have a needlefish. Don't let these slender fellas fool you. Typically around 3 feet long and weighing about 9 pounds, they might look harmless, but they've got a seriously crazy defense. Needlefish are equipped with a long, sharp, bony beak, and here's the kicker. They launch themselves out of the water at insane speeds sometimes exceeding 37 miles per hour. It's like getting hit by a speeding spear. This behavior, often triggered by boat lights, can lead to accidental collisions with unsuspecting boaters, especially in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. While shark attacks get all the headlines, some fishermen in these regions consider needlefish a more frequent threat. 14. Stingray Moving on to number 14, the stingray. These guys are generally pretty chill, but they're rocking a seriously painful defense mechanism, a venomous stinger in their tail. They're like the ninjas of the ocean floor, burying themselves in the sand to ambush prey, or, accidentally, your foot. If you step on one, you're in for a world of hurt. Think of it as nature's booby trap. We all remember Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter. His tragic death from a stingray was a huge blow to the world. It's a reminder that even the most experienced wildlife experts can face danger. So, next time you're on a tropical vacation, give those stingrays plenty of space. Or do the stingray shuffle, slide your feet along the sand instead of stepping to give them a heads up that you're coming. 13. Giant Moray Eel At number 13, we have the giant moray eel. While there are over 200 species of moray eel, this is the one to be particularly cautious around. Found in the Indian and Pacific Oceans, they can reach impressive sizes, growing up to 10 feet long and weighing around 65 pounds. These eels are like the grumpy hermits of the reef. They mostly keep to themselves, but if you mess with them, they'll definitely let you know they're not happy, with a bite that'll leave you regretting your life choices. Divers who try to feed them have learned this the hard way. Best to admire these creatures from a safe distance during your next scuba diving trip. 12. Barracuda Our number 12 is the Barracuda. Found worldwide, the Barracuda is an apex predator that has the potential to dish out some serious damage. Reaching lengths of up to 6.5 feet and weights of up to 110 pounds. It also sports a set of sharp teeth in order to chomp down on its prey, but generally speaking, Barracudas are harmless to us humans as they typically only attack other fish. However, in murky waters, they have been known to bite the arms and legs of humans after mistaking them for the underbelly of a fish. They've also been known to chomp down on shiny objects such as belt buckles, necklaces, and earrings. These guys are like the ninjas of the sea, sleek, fast, and packing some serious teeth. 11. Anglerfish Coming in at 11 is the anglerfish. When it comes to deep sea creatures, few are as frightening as the anglerfish. Although only about the size of a coffee cup, they have a pretty frightening appearance. With the 200 different species of them, each featuring a prominent lure that hangs off their front end. It uses this lure to attract prey once said prey is close enough. It will clamp down onto it with its impressive set of teeth. This thing looks like it came straight out of nightmare. Good thing it lives so deep. 10. Box Jellyfish at 10, the box jellyfish. While getting a sting from most species of jellyfish will be painful, the box jellyfish definitely takes it up a notch. That's because these feisty fish, which are found throughout the Indian and Pacific Oceans, administer one of the most toxic stings in the world. Now, as far as jellyfish go, box jellyfish are pretty massive coming in at about 10 feet long. Their tentacles have about 5,000 stinging cells each, and each are equipped with a toxin that attacks the heat. RT nervous system and skin cells. Unfortunately, said toxin is so painful that human victims have been known to either go into shock and drown or die of heart failure mere moments after coming into contact with one. 
Yet even if you do survive, you can expect to experience considerable pain for weeks. There's often significant scarring where the tentacles make contact with your skin. This isn't your average jellyfish sting. This is straight up venomous torture. We're talking possible death if you get stung by this. As a result, we'd suggest swimming in the other direction if you see one of these in the water during your next beach vacation. 9. Killer Whales Up next is number 9, Killer Whales, are certainly one of the most impressive fish on the planet. Typically coming in at a length of about 6 to 8 meters and a weight in excess of 6 tons. They truly are massive, and it turns out that they are not in fact whales, but instead the largest member of the dolphin family. Regardless, they are strong hunters typically attacking in packs and going after seals, cod, and at times even mink whales. Unfortunately, they have a tendency to attack humans, however in the wild these assaults are very rare. Instead, it's when killer whales are put into captivity that they become deadly as they will sometimes lash out against their trainers out of frustration. Stress or loneliness often leading to serious injuries and at times even death as a result. Orcas are incredibly intelligent and powerful animals, but captivity can drive them to lash out. It's a complex issue with no easy answers. 8. The Reef Stonefish Our next fish at number 8 is the Reef Stonefish. While it may just look like a rock or a lump of coral, the Reef Stonefish is one of the most toxic fish in the world. Found in coral reefs throughout the Indian and Pacific Oceans. It's a master of disguise hiding on the sea floor to camouflage with its surroundings. It is while it's on the sea floor that it hunts, quickly swimming and catching unsuspecting prey at rapid speed speeds that are so rapid in fact that a reef stonefish attack often lasts as little as 0.15 seconds. However, while these fish are usually not a danger to humans, they very well can be if threatened. That's because they have 13 dorsal fins on their spine that contain a highly toxic venom. With this venom leading to severe pain, heart failure, and even death if left untreated, luckily, since 1959, there has been an anti-venom that can treat stonefish stings. And it's also said that putting a wounded area in hot water can help soothe the pain. If you can't see it, it can hurt you. Reef stonefish are masters of camouflage with deadly spines. Yet, given that they only sting if stepped on or otherwise touched in any way, it's pretty easy to steer clear of them while snorkeling or scuba diving, so long as you keep your hands off the reef. 7. Goliath Tiger Fish While most of the fish on this list only attack humans, if provoked, the Goliath Tiger Fish stands apart. For having actively attacked humans on a number of occasions, Found throughout the Congo River Basin, the Goliath Tiger Fish is rather large, growing to lengths of about 1.5 meters and weights of up to about 50 kilograms. It hunts by ambushing small fish, speeding up to them and clamping down on them with a large set of teeth, with each tooth typically growing as much as one inch long. As a result, it shouldn't come as a surprise that the local name for the species is the Mumbenga, which means the dangerous fish in Swahili. This fish makes the piranha look like a pet goldfish. There are stories from the Congo River Basin that have been told of attacks from this nasty creature that will stay in the minds of the local people forever. As a result, we'd recommend staying far away from this body of water, unless you'd like to become its next victim. 6. Red-bellied piranhas Throughout the Amazon River, there are packs of predatory fish known as red belly piranhas, these crazy carnivores which grow to lengths of about 50 centimeters and weigh in at about 5 kilograms. Are notable because they are not only meat eaters, but also have extremely sharp sets of teeth. Typically, they use said teeth to chase down small prey, such as worms, crustaceans, and fish. And in fact, will often scavenge for plants and insects in order to meet their dietary needs. However, when food is scarce, piranhas will at times gang together to take down large prey in what is known as a feeding frenzy, usually eating up said large individual within minutes. The victim will typically be an animal, such as a capybara or an egret. However, in some cases, the victim will unfortunately be a human. And although such occurrences are extremely rare, they have unfortunately led to some very horrific deaths. The piranhas you see on TV are sensationalized. They do at times take down larger animals, but mostly only hunt small insects and scavenge for plants. 
5. Swordfish As the name suggests, swordfish are definitely one of the sharper fish out there. That's because their sword-shaped bills are extremely honed and durable and are typically used to hunt down smaller fish. However, rather than impale their prey with their swords, they typically use them as scythes. Slashing through small schools of fish in order to knock them out and gobble them up, while their fast speeds and ferocious hunting style are no real danger to humans. Swordfish can be quite the hazard when they're harpooned. That's because when impaled, they will typically jump or dive in such a way that could damage a boat or injure a human. Unfortunately, a Hawaiian man by the name of Randy Lames found this out the hard way in 2015 when he became the first recorded person to be killed by one of these creatures. You see, he had shot one with his harpoon when by instinct the short fish jumped up and in the process punctured lambs in the chest leading to him to later passing away in a hospital. This just goes T. Let's show how dangerous swordfish truly are. It turns out that swordfish are much more dangerous when they're out of the water than when they're inside of it. This is because their meat contains very high levels of mercury. And this is of special concern to pregnant women. Turns out that long-term swordfish consumption can cause mercury to accumulate in your bloodstream over time. That if too much mercury is in a pregnant woman's bloodstream, it could damage a baby's developing brain and nervous system. As a result, we suggest you stay far away from this mercury high fish dish if you're expecting a child anytime soon. 4. Pufferfish while puffer fish may not be the largest or fastest fish out there, their ability to puff up and poison their predators makes them extremely dangerous to puffer fish. Typically only inflate when they feel threatened as their puffed up persona makes them look like a giant ball of spikes, which isn't exactly appetizing for a would-be predator. Additionally, their spikes contain a neurotoxin known as tetrodotoxin, which can cause paralysis seizures and even death in humans to make matters worse. The neurotoxin is not only up to 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide, but it's also so abundant in the puffer fish that just one has the ability to kill up to 30 adult humans when you then further consider that there is no antidote for a puffer fish's neurotoxins. It becomes clear that they should probably be avoided. Interestingly, however, there is a Japanese delicacy known as fugu that turns the puffer fish into a delectable dish having been eaten by the Japanese for over 2,000 years. Fugu is a mainstay in Japanese culture, however, in recent years, it has been heavily regulated by the state ever since 1958 chefs had to obtain a license in order to prepare fugu. This involves first completing a two-year apprenticeship under a certified fugu chef and then undertaking an examination. The first two hours of said examination is written, but afterwards there's a THRE, E-minute Fugu identification component, and a 20-minute Fugu preparation component. However, considering that only about 35 of the applicants pass the license, certainly isn't easy to obtain. Regardless, even though these chefs are highly trained, you would undoubtedly be taking a pretty big risk if you chose to consume a puffer fish. 3. Lionfish Moving on to the top three with lionfish. While the vibrant patterns, bright colors, and interesting shape of a lionfish may make them one of the most beautiful fish on this list, this certainly does not make them any less dangerous hailing from the South Pacific and Indian Oceans. There are 12 species of lionfish out there, all of which feast on shrimp and smaller fish. However, when threatened, they'll make use of the poisonous spikes that they have across their back pelvis and on. Their side being filled with toxin being stung with said spikes can cause intense pain and sweating and in extreme cases respiratory distress and paralysis in humans. Appearing in densities of over 350 fish per hectare on some reefs, they have spread across the eastern seaboard and the Mediterranean. This is problematic because they not only have no predators outside the Indo-Pacific, but they also have a voracious appetite and most notably decimated about 65 to 95 of the endemic small reef fish in the Bahamas in just a 30-year time frame. As a result, we can expect issues regarding these feisty fish to continue to skyrocket. E.T. if their overpopulation is not addressed soon. 2. Kandaroo Second place goes to Kandaroo. Found in the depths of the Amazon, the Kandaroo is a fish that is very small, but incredibly mighty, measuring in at about 17 centimeters in length and being clear in color. 
It's very hard to spot and is widely known as a vampire fish due to its tendency to swim into the gills of smaller fish and live off them like a parasite. However, while the reports on the subject are shaky, there's quite a bit of anecdotal evidence to suggest that Candorus have another target humans. In particular, reports specify that Candorus have a tendency to swim into human private parts. With urethra as being the most common place of attack, it is said that once there they will latch onto its walls with barbs with said spikes only driving deeper into them if you try to pull one out. As a result, while some suggested remedies do exist, many historical accounts suggest just cutting the offending member off in order to relieve yourself of the pain, luckily, however the actual empirical. Evidence attesting to Kandaru attacks remains limited. In fact, many scientists today believe that these were just sensationalized stories and that if a kangaroo were to swim up your private parts, it would be completely by accident, as they would not survive. For long after having done so. Regardless, we'd still suggest staying far away from the Amazon's murky waters, just in case, after all you never know if a cruel candida will make you their next target. 1. Great White Sharks And finally, at number 1, the Great White Shark the apex predator, the subject of countless movies, and often misunderstood. While movies like Jaws might exaggerate the threat, the great white is undeniably one of the ocean's most powerful animals. Reaching lengths of up to 6 meters, nearly 20 feet, and weighing over 2. 5 tons, they are built for hunting. Great whites primarily feed on marine mammals like seals, sea lions, and even small whales using their immense power and over 300 serrated teeth to their advantage. While human encounters do occur, they are relatively rare. Sharks don't typically target humans as prey, often mistaking them for seals. However, even a single exploratory bite can be devastating. Despite their fearsome reputation, great white sharks face significant threats from humans. It's estimated that humans kill around 100 million sharks of all species each year, often driven by the demand for shark fin soup, a delicacy in some Asian countries. This unsustainable fishing practice has led to conservation efforts aimed at protecting these magnificent creatures and maintaining the balance of our oceans. So there you have it, 15 of the ocean's most dangerous fish. I hope you found this exploration both informative and a little bit thrilling. Which fish surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button if you thought any of these sea beasties were particularly terrifying and if you want to see more deep dives into the weird and wonderful world of marine life. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.